Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily copy or steal color grading from a photo using Photoshop. And if I totally find the video helpful, make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people. And in this process, it is going to be helping the channel grow in the long run. So this is the image you want to copy or steal color grading from, and you want to apply the color grading from this image and apply it to this very image right here you can see the image so this is our reference image and this is our target image for this case so i'm just going to be using the curves adjustment layer to copy or steal color grading from this image and apply it to this very image using photoshop so after i've gotten to your reference image or your target image make sure you select the target image that you want to apply the color grading on and come to your find and simply drag and drop your image from which you want to copy or your reference image so just copy and or drag and drop it on top of an image you want to color grade in this case and after that you can just come and drag the edges just like that and you can put it somewhere close to a side and after that simply press enter so after you have done this, always make sure this, when you copy and paste or you, when you drag an image on top of any kind of document within Photoshop, it creates or it makes that image as a smart object. By smart object, I mean it creates this icon or the smart object icon on that very image on which you have just had to place on top of that document or photo. So for this to work for you better, always make sure that you come to this very layer that has a smart object icon and simply right click on it then come down here to rasterize layer and it's going to remove that smart object icon from this image so after that we're just going to come and select the background layer or our initial image that we want to color grade so we're just going to create a curves adjust adjustment layer between the target layer and the reference layer so i just going to come right here and come and select curves so after doing this the next thing that we're going to do we are just going to come right here and we select our image from which we want to copy the color grading so make sure you select the layer that is containing this very image from which you want to steal or copy the color grading and with that done you're just going to come and get our lasso tool so make sure you come and select and get your lasso tool and make sure it is in new selection mode and make sure the feather is zero pixels so you want this tool to be precise and the edges to be as soft as possible as you're trying to select the colors that you want to map or steal from the image in this case so with that done you're just going to zoom into this image and come and look at it so you're just going to map the midtones the highlights and the shadows from this very image using the lasso tool so simply left click and draw over the brightest areas in this case so after drawing over the brightest areas or the highlights just come to filter then come to blur and you just come to average so when you do this it is going to select an average color of this selected area so in order to deselect this you can use command or control d on the keyboard and that is going to deselect the selection then after that you're just going to come and also select the midtones in this case and simply come to filter and come to average then after that just click away from the selection and you can also come and select the shadow or the darkest areas in this case then come back to filter and come to average and it's going to show you an average of those colors so just come and deselect so after doing this we have successfully made a target for these colors and we just want to copy and apply the colors on the image you want to color grade in this case so this is going to be very simple and we're going to come straight to the curves adjustment layer so for this to work for you best, just first of all come 
and get your color picker tool or eyedropper tool within your photoshop and come and make sure the sample size is 5x5 five five or 3x3 three, three three average so make sure you have 5x5 five five because this is more precise when it comes to selecting pixels within an image and after this is done we just want to now map our colors into this image that we want to color grade in this case so for this to work better just come to our curves adjustment layer and make sure you select it so make sure this layer mask is not selected so just select the curves icon in this case so just double click on the curves icon and it's going to open up the curves proper properties dialog box so with this we're just going to sample or map the colors within the image so if at all you don't select this adjustment and you try to get the eyedropper tool and click right here it may not or it is not going to apply the color grading to this image so make sure this curves properties layer is selected and not the layer mask so these eyedropper tools represent the highlights the midtones and the shadows so from down we have the highlight eyedropper tool the midtone and the shadow eyedropper tool so i just going to come and simply click right here so make sure you double click on this highlight eyedropper tool and after that it is going to open up the color picker tool or the color picker or target highlighter color dialog box and with this done you can now zoom in and you simply left click so make sure you left click on the area that has the highlights in our reference image right here and now come and simply click on ok so it is going to open up or it is going to bring up a save the new target colors as default window make sure you click on no because you don't want to save it as a default color and after i just come and click on the brighted the brightest area or the highlight in the image so just come and simply left click and you can see it is going to change the image instantly so we're just going to do the same for our midtones in this case so usually this tends to work with either the brightest areas the highlights and the midtones or it works with the highlights and the shadows or it works with the three of them so for this case we may have to use only the highlights and the midtones so we are done using our highlights so do the same double click on the color picker or eyedropper tool that is for the midtones and zoom in and click on the midtone area that we averaged out in our reference image and just come and simply click ok then come and click on no right here so just one click on an area that has midtones in this case on our reference image so we're just going to click on the area that has midtones and you can see as we are clicking the image is now turning to look like our reference so i'm just going to come and click on different areas because with just a single click you may not be able to get the real color but you have to keep on sampling and looking for the color that uh works best for you in this case so i'm just going to come and click randomly until i get the sweetest spot in those colors so i'm just going to do this so at around this point or you can look for a point right here so right now the image is now turning out to look more like the image from which we want to copy color grading from so this is okay and the colors in this image are now turning out to look better so this image can now be modified by simply boosting the contrast within it so i'm just going to show you how to do this so right now you can see that the image that we had before is now looking more like this image that or from which we are copying the color grading from so when you feel like that is enough and you're okay with it and you're fine with everything just come and simply add contrast to this image because the reason i try this image that we just color graded is not looking like this is because the image that we are color grading initially is lacking enough contrast so just come to your adjustments and come and create your brightness and contrast adjustment layer
and simply come and intensify the contrast within the image and you can see right now it is looking more like uh, the image that we really cop the color grading from so and after when you're done doing that just come and press ok and you can come and add a selective color adjustment layer and simply intensify your blacks so that the image can be so close or can look more like the image from which we copied the color grading from and when you're done doing this you can just come and simply select our reference image and simply delete it so you can see that uh, these two images look alike in this case so basically this is how to copy color grading from one image and apply the color grading on a different image using photoshop and if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating